Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will solve two interesting problems based on signal flow graph using Meshens gain formula. And I will solve those two questions by animations. Due to animations, you can easily understand those two questions in short duration of time. First of all, I'll explain you Meshens gain formula. So you need to understand steps of Meshens gain formula. In Meshens gain formula, First of all, we need to identify forward paths. So first of all, we need to identify paths from input to output. Let us name them as F1, F2 and so on. After that, we need to find single loops. So in signal flow graph, second step is based on identification of single loops. Let us name them as L1, L2 and so on. After that, we need to identify two non-touching loops. So in third step, we will be identifying two non-touching loops. So we need to identify loops which are not touching to each other, where we need to identify two non-touching loops. Let us name them as L1 dash, L2 dash and so on. After that, we will be identifying three non-touching loops. Usually, we don't have those kind of signal flow graph which is having three non-touching loops. But still, if it is available, then we need to identify three non-touching loops, right? And based on single loops, two non-touching loops and three non-touching loops, we can identify delta. Delta is one minus summation of single loops plus summation of two non-touching loops minus summation of three non-touching loops plus summation of four non-touching loops. That is how delta calculation is there. Usually we don't have more than two non-touching loops in 99 percentage of questions right after that we need to identify delta i see delta i calculation that is based on forward paths so as if you have two forward paths then we will be identifying delta 1 and delta 2 if you have three forward paths then we will be identifying delta 1 delta 2 and delta 3 and that calculation is 1 minus summation of loops which are not touching to given path, right? For path F1, delta 1 will be 1 minus summation of single loops which are not touching to forward path F1. Likewise, for delta 2, 1 minus summation of single loops which are not touching to forward path F2. After that, we will be identifying transfer function using Mason's gain formula. That is F1 delta 1 plus F2 delta 2 plus up to fn delta n divided by delta where all the parameters that i have told you over here now let us apply this machines gain formula in problem number one see here we have been given with signal flow graph where input is r and output is c we need to identify transfer function transfer function means c divided by r right so first step that is based on identification of forward path. So here we need to see forward paths. So from input to output you can observe here we have one forward path and here we have second forward path right. So here first forward path let us name that as F1. So that is 1 into G1 into G2 into G3 into 1 means it is G1 G2 G3 right second forward path that is this which is 1 into g4 into g5 into 1 right now in second step we need to identify single loops so here you can observe this is one single loop here this is second single loop you can observe here we have third single loop here we have fourth single loop and here we have fifth single loop. So that is how we need to identify all single loops. So here first single loop that is G1, G2, G3 minus 1. So that is this single loop you can observe. So gain is minus G1, G2, G3, right. Second single loop that is G2 into minus 1 that is this you can observe that is minus G2. Third single loop that is G3 into minus 1, right. Fourth single loop 
that is a single loop fifth single loop that is g4 g5 minus 1 right so that is how we need to identify single loops first i don't see any other single loops over here right so in total five single loops are there now we need to identify two non touching loops so if you observe see this g6 that is not touching to g2 minus 1 this g6 that is also not touching to g3 minus 1 this g6 that is not touching to g1 g2 g3 minus 1 and if you observe this g4 g5 minus 1 and g2 minus 1 that is also not touching to each other so now we need to identify two non touching loops where c l4 and l1 that is not touching l4 that is g6 and l1 that is g1 g2 g3 minus 1 if you observe second two non touching loops then that is l4 l2 so l4 is g6 and l2 that is g2 minus 1 right third non touching loop that is l2 l5 that is minus 1 g2 and g4 g5 minus 1 and fourth two non touching loops that is l4 l3 l4 is g6 and l3 that is g3 minus 1 right so in total four two non touching loops that is there with us right otherwise other loops are touching to each other and here we don't have any three non touching loops right now we need to identify delta i delta i calculation that is based on forward path f1 and f2 so first of all we will identify delta 1 that is based on forward path f1 so forward path f1 that is this right and delta 1 calculation that is 1 minus single loops which is not touching to f1 so f1 is this and with this path only this loop is not touching right so 1 minus g6 that is what delta 1 and f2 will gives you delta 2 that is 1 minus single loops not touching f2 so f2 is this you can observe and this is not touching only g2 minus 1 means 1 minus minus g2 means 1 plus g2 otherwise this path that is touching all other loops right see g3 minus 1 that is also getting touched over here right so only g2 minus 1 that is not touching to this forward path f2 right so now we have delta i if you want to calculate delta then that can be calculated based on single loops and two non touching loops right so here delta is 1 minus summation of single loops so we need to do algebraic summation of single loops 1 minus that plus two non touching loops so plus this algebraic sum right and based on all this data we can identify transfer function that is f1 delta 1 plus f2 delta 2 divided by delta so f1 f2 delta 1 delta 2 and delta that we have calculated that you need to substitute in this equation to get transfer function right now i'll explain you second problem so again we will follow same steps to identify output c divided by input r first of all identify forward paths so in forward paths you see we have this first forward path that is 1 into g1 into g2 into g3 into 1 into 1 and we have second forward path that is g4 into 1 otherwise i don't see any other forward paths so f1 that is 1 into g1 into g2 into g3 into 1 into 1 that is g1 g2 g3 and second forward path that is g4 into 1 right now we need to identify single loops right so here if you observe see we have one single loop that is g2 minus h1 we have second single loop that is g2 g3 minus h2 and we have third single loop that is g1 g2 h1 right 
So only three single loops are there. See, you cannot consider this as a loop, right? Why the reason is see here we have opposite direction. So direction also should be considered, right? So here first single loop L1 that is G1, G2, H1, G1, G2, H1. Second single loop that is G2 minus H1 that is this. And third single loop that is G2, G3 minus H2, right? And see all three loops that is touching each other, right? So we don't have two non-touching loops. Now we need to identify value of delta based on single loops and two non-touching loops. If you don't have two non-touching loops, then but obviously you cannot have three non-touching loops, right? So delta that is one minus summation of single loops plus summation of two non-touching loops. So one minus summation of single loops that we need to do. So these are the single loops that we need to add over here. Then we need to identify delta i. Here we have forward path f1 and f2. Based on that, we can have delta 1 and delta 2, right? So delta 1 based on f1, that is 1 minus summation of single loops not touching f1. So f1 is touching all the loops, right? f1 is touching all the loops. So only 1 minus 0 is there, means 1. And delta 2 based on f2. So f2 is g4 into 1. So this f2 that is not touching all three loops, right? So delta 2 that will be 1 plus means 1 minus all those loops which are not touching f1, right? So you need to substitute all this data 1 minus, right? So here plus is coming because of here we have minus polarity, right? And here we have minus because of here we have plus polarity, right? And now we have f1, f2, delta 1, delta 2 and delta. So we can identify transfer function that is f1 delta 1 plus f2 delta 2 divided by delta, right? So this is how simply we can solve questions based on signal flow graph using machines gain formula. You need to focus about diagram. You should not forget any single loop. You should not forget any two non-touching loops. I have seen students may get confused in identification of single loops, non-touching loops. So you need to be careful when you solve problems. And after practice, definitely your accuracy will improve. So just do practice along with this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.